Yesterday it was out. That green, when it's green, that means it's a little something in there. Girl, it was only one yesterday. When you get a minute, go to that YouTube channel, Shakira, yeah, and hit subscribe. Yeah, we at the. Oh. And I'm like, what the hell? Yep, and this is at the end, girl. We getting the last of the last. Good Lord, fix it, Jesus, fix it. Mm-hmm. So I can't do it after that coffee. I need some coffee. Me too, girl. I don't know how many lives would be lost if I didn't have coffee in the morning to start. <laughs> and that's just being real, you yeah, know. Thank you. So guys, today, real quick, real quick, you know I ain't wanna used to wear heels, yeah. They gonna have to bury me in my ass. I already know what time. <laughs> they gonna have to bury me in my heels, girl. Well, I I but heels. Nothing but. Ooh, wait. Oh. Oh. I just keep my Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Oh, baby. I wear my heels. Hey, Jay. Oh, I hear that, baby. I hear that. And that's crazy that you say that because the topic of my show today is stability. How stable are you? Hey, Miss Vicky. How stable are you? God, guys. Mm -hmm. It's coffee and conversation, so I'm having a conversation with somebody. Chill out. I wore my heels. I bought me some red heels. I wear the hell and I walk through my I hear that, sister. I hear that. So guys, today, quick question, and, and it's not here to judge nobody, none of that, you know, it is hopefully a give you an opportunity to do some, some self-searching, you know, self-reflecting, maybe, making some decisions, some choices, some decisions or whatever. So today, how stable are you? Children need stability, period. They need to see it. They need to be around and they need to be morning, in it. Good morning, honey. Thank you. They need stability. And that varies depending on the dynamics of your household. Yeah, because what might be important to me and, and might be a part of my stability might not be yours. It might not be your vision. It might not be what you see for your children. So it all varies about the dynamics of your home, what stability means to you. But children have to see it. That means you have to demonstrate it. That means you have to, to show it. That means you have to be it. You have to be stable in order for them to learn from you. Because you teach children in different ways. Sometimes it's fussing at them, hollering at them, cussing at them, yelling at them. Then sometimes it's just you demonstrating something and they're seeing it and they're taking it from you because they see the end result of what it is that you are doing. So with that being said, when I say it comes in different forms, it depends on what's important to you. Like for me, have be living in one place for a certain amount of time. See, that might not be part of your stability, but when I'm raising children, it was very important for us to be in a house, stable, not moving nowhere, not going nowhere. So whatever it takes to stay in that house, if you own it, you're paying taxes, you got a mortgage on it, you're paying your mortgage, you're renting, you're paying your rent every month. You're doing everything that you have to do to stay in that house. So when I, after the divorce, I lost the house and we had to move and it killed me. Oh my God, it killed me. So the only thing that I can do to keep stability in my mind, I never changed the kid's school. I made sure they stayed in the same school no matter where we ended up. And that might not mean nothing to you, but by me having a youth program for almost 20 years and actually having conversations with children, I know the importance of them staying in the same school and growing up with their friends and graduating with their they crew. I, I know the importance of staying in the same neighborhood so that they can play with their friends and grow up with their friends and not be displaced and moving from place to place. So, like I said, stability is, is what you, what's important to you, I guess, will consist of what's good. Me being in one place and being stable and being able to hold. Do you have a job? Do you work? Do you have income coming in? 
Are you able to take care of yourself? Are you able to pay your bills? Are you a homeowner? Do you own a vehicle? Do you have at least three months of your salary saved? Do you have any money saved in case of an emergency? Like a little safety net. Might not be the three month salary, but do you have at least a safety net, money saved? How's your credit? Do you know the importance of having good credit? What's good credit to you? Are you working on it? Like I said, these videos are not here to judge you. It's just get you here to think sometimes, make decisions, sometimes move different, hopefully. Hopefully you move different after you hear some of my videos, yeah. I don't know, just ask him. What does stability look like to you? How do you show it to your children? How do you teach it? And are you stable as an adult? How stable are you as an adult? See, some of those things I named off might not be important to you. They might not, it might not matter. I know people that don't even need a car. <laughs> My girlfriend get around everywhere she got <laughs> so she don't even have no car. That's not important to her. That's not part of her stability. Me, that's a part of my stability. I gotta have a car. I trick up on some money to get a car. No, I'm just playing. I do a paint job to get some money for a car. <laughs> so y'all, that's it for coffee and conversation with your girl Shakinya. Are you stable? I'm out.